Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster Alpha 3. Make sure you're dropping a like if you're enjoying, it's the best way of letting me know and it just makes me feel good. Today we're going to be doing some finishing touches on our Lord of the Rings Park. We're going to be finishing up the centerpiece here, I don't know why Chief Beef and his friends are just hanging out there. We're going to add some finishing touches to most of the sections of the park and just get it nice and easy, or nice, nice and easy, nice and done for the tour in the next episode. I'm very, very excited to show you guys around the park, and I hope you guys are too. Sorry I haven't had one in a couple days. Uh, I went out of town for a while, and uh, as you can imagine, this game takes a lot more time to pre-record. And so I ended up just pre-recording a lot of other games, just to make sure I could get some content out for you guys. Uh, for the future parks, we'll probably talk about that in another episode and stuff. Just what we want to do, how frequent the episodes are, because again, I don't want to get burnt out on this game before it actually comes out. That would be a little bit counterproductive, but still enjoying the game, and I'm definitely sure that a new park would uh, reinvigorate my uh, love for the game. I know some of you were talking about how it looks like I wasn't really having fun with the, uh, what's the part of it, the Helm's Deep part, and they thought it was a little bland, a little boring. I was trying to stop myself from overdoing it. Uh, the, the Helm's Deep castle in the movie is actually very plain, not a lot of detail, Not there's like very little bushes, trees, there's like none, no, there's like no bush and trees, there's a little bit of grass, so I may add some more in there, but it's a pretty f straightforward plain castle, and I meant the entire castle just to be like a giant uh, housing for the coaster bay, we ended up putting the restaurant and stuff in there, but for the most part I wanted it just for the coaster, so again, trying something different, trying to not overly detail things, trying to keep it more uh, to the feel of the film, because men, I uh, mean, uh, again, it is meant to be just like a large uh, defensive fortress, not a beautiful castle like some of the other things in the park or in the movies. But anyway, we just worked on a nice little forest area kind of coming up through uh, past Hobbiton and then up towards the middle, just trying to make it a nice dense forest, kind of like in the in-between areas where they're traveling. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with this road. Originally, I had just this tile road, and I didn't really like look at that. I was like, okay, we'll put this natural road, but again, it's a little bit too bright. So what we do end up doing is we take the road and I actually end up painting it green a little bit to kind of subdue that tan. Because I didn't want it all green, I didn't want it all tan, I wanted somewhere between, at least for these parts, we ended up changing this a little bit. And I know some of you are disappointed that we ended up not doing the Mines of Moria, so I tried to make that up for you, or make it up to you by doing a little reference to the Mines of Moria in the center here, you can easily imagine what I'm going to be doing here. In this little pond, as well as the cliff next to it, kind of make this the sort of uh, entrance area to the Mines of Moria using the Kraken as the, uh, I don't remember the name of the creature that guarded the Mines of Moria. I don't know if they, I thought it had a name. I don't know. You guys will probably know. If you know, let me know. <laughs> if you know, let me know. So we chuck him in there, took a couple of tentacles, easy peasy. If only we could change his color, make him a little bit more green. I think the monster in the movie is green, if I remember correctly. And then trying to paint this up a little bit, because it is kind of dark and dirty. It's not all love, lively and green. Again, I, I wish we had brown dirt. That would make me ever so happy if we had brown dirt. Oh man, it would look so much better. Hopefully maybe in the beta or the full release. I'm going to keep hounding that Planet Coaster and telling them, Hey, give me my dirt. I don't want any of this black rock stuff everywhere. I just want dirt. And I don't want grass. Easy peasy. There you go. <laughs> so we have the tentacles there. And then just adding some of these cool swamp trees that they kind of fit the area. This whole part's a little bit flat, but it's small and I want it to be relatively self-contained. So. Ended up looking okay, took some of these scary trees, brought them around, and then some rocks. And the cliff face to the right, I'm actually going to flatten out and make that into uh, the entrance of the Mines of Moria, which was a little tricky to do, again, with the pieces that we have in the game. Uh, you'll, you'll see it in a little bit. Just trying to dress up the area, added some torches, just kind of light the whole pathway. Even though they don't really do that much lighting, but oh well. Life goes on. I, w I really wish they would increase the spread of the light in this game, especially for the torches and everything, because they seem to not light things up a lot. They seem to be just pinpoints of light, like floating in the sky, rather than casting light onto the things around them. I hope they increase the range, or at least give us the option to increase the range, things like that. So here we go. We're going to take this cliff face over here, just kind of moving some stuff out of the way, and we're going to flatten it out and extend it forward, and this is going to uh, be where we're going to put the Mines of Moria entrance. Again, not the actual mines, it's just going to be uh, a decoration of the entrance. I don't know what this put in a little puddle there. There you go. <laughs> so this part takes quite, took me quite a while to figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, we ended up taking these planks of wood, paint them white, and then have them kind of just stick out a little bit. 
that was the main idea here. And you know, the, the end result's okay. Uh, we don't really have any curved pieces or anything, so there are kind of like these uh, vines that wrap around the posts. I uh, couldn't really figure out a way to do that that wouldn't take forever and would be incredibly boring, so this is just kind of a silly little reference to the entrance to the Mines of Moria. Not meant to be 100% movie accurate and all that jazz. Just, uh, you know, a little, little visual interest. You guys know how much I love those. We do a lot of visual interest pieces in this episode. And then I realized, I know this thing's not actually straight, or the, the wall's not actually flat. So some parts are going to stick out more than others. But that's okay. Let's replace those. Good to go. So the arches were a little tricky to figure out, but luckily you can just uh, use the snap to grid pieces, or the, the angle snap option, and you can adjust it to 15 degrees. So you can just adjust it every single time, and you get relatively consistent results. It's not going to be perfect, because again, uh, it comes down to my the user error of where I'm placing these things, but you know, uh, it serves its purpose for all intents and purposes. It seems pretty good. Sorry, intensive purposes. That's the real one. No, it's not. <laughs> See, I need to say that, otherwise I'll have 500 of you yelling at me in the comments. Oh my God, it's intense and purposes, not intensive purposes. Even though I was clearly being sarcastic, but whatever. Oh yeah, and then I made this thing crooked. You see me? Move around this, so I'm like, okay, it lines up there, and then we take it, and we're gonna move it over. Oh, wait, no, what the heck? And then was, oh, it's not on the same grid as the other ones, because I clicked off instead of using the piece, the same piece, and I started a new one, and then it looked bad. So, yeah, it's a little tricky, just lining everything up. <laughs> oh, oh well, it was fun. I was just hanging out, you know, just working on this, taking a nice, relaxing day, trying not to stress about it too much. Eh, I'm, I'm a little burnt out on this game, I'm not gonna lie, guys. That's why there hasn't been an episode in like a week. Well, and I was out of town. Yeah, honestly, if I hadn't gotten out of town, there probably would have been an episode like every three days or something, but it ended up being a week just because I went out of town and went to a wedding in uh, northern Wisconsin. It was pretty fun. It was my, uh, my cousin got married. Yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was enjoyable. I got to see a lot of my family I haven't seen in a long time, and my mom flew out. Cause I haven't seen my mom since I moved to Chicago a couple months ago, and my sister. She moved to DC a while ago. Yeah, my brother lives in San Diego. I live in Chicago. My sister lives in DC now. So we have uh, split the country apart. He's got the West Coast. I got the Midwest, and she got the East Coast. So I, I think I got the the butt end of that deal <laughs> with the Midwest. But no, I like Chicago. It's technically the cheapest place of the three even though all three of them are very expensive i'm getting off the rails again guys but you see what i'm doing i'm still just trying to work on some designs and stuff for uh our minds of mori entrance <laughs> uh it's hard for me to talk about these these long detailed projects for a while but there we go a nice cheeky little reference I'm not gonna blow anyone away with with its utter realism or anything just seeing if there's some signs and stuff well that looks <laughs> cool it's not really a portal though wouldn't really make sense there Go ahead and let the top, the the time click, time tick, time ticks. That's what it does. Just so the sun goes down, so I can put some uh, lamps on here and make it really glow and stick out. I really wanted it to be uh, nice and bright, so we just bury some lights in there. I meant to bury some more lights around here. Did not end up doing that. I'll probably do like another hour or so of work. Ah, uh, maybe off camera. No, I think, uh, I think it's good. <laughs> At the end of this video, <laughs> we'll see. Who knows? I don't know. Over here, I decided that the entrance area to the Rivendell section of the park was a little bit plain, so I wanted to add a tower or two, uh, just kind of signify the entrance. So what we do is start working out over here, but we eventually take it and we move it over to the uh, Rivendell park, just so I can reference the other buildings and stuff, because it was a while ago that I did build this, so, so I can reference it and uh, try and at least make it look relatively similar, uh, similar style and motifs, things like that. And this thing actually comes out really cool looking, I like it a lot. It's not bad, not bad. We end up changing quite a bit as we go, but just wrapping around our wooden beams, all those things. Yeah, so a good point to talk about the next episode. The next episode was a, the, the, the next episode is gonna be a tour of the park. We're gonna be flying through it using first person point of views, things like that. Going through all different sections of the park. And this is also gonna be what I did with the Eternity Park, is I'm gonna do a straw poll. Uh having you guys vote for what your favorite section was. I didn't do that with the Marvel Park because the the park sucked. No, the park didn't suck. <laughs> I just forgot. I guess I could have done a what's your favorite section, but in the next episode there'll definitely be one. So we have a uh, Hobbiton, Rivenel, Mordor, and Helm's Deep. Um no one Helm's Deep's not gonna be anyone's favorite. Uh 
I think it's gonna be a tie between Rivendell and Hobbiton. Hobbiton might be my favorite. I do like the large detailed buildings in Rivendell, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. And when the results come in in the next episode, who's who's got the favorite episodes? Ooh, that was a really tall door. That would look cool there, but it wouldn't really make sense. That thing's a huge door, man. Wow. Okay. There we go. I like those corded, like, wooden, uh, corded doors. Uh, corded doesn't sound right, but they're kind of like rolled wood. Looks pretty cool. So you flatten this area. Take one. Plop it there. Take another one. Plop it on the other side. I just think this really pulls the area. It gives you a little bit of a taste of what you're going to see once you enter Rivendell. It's like, ooh, what are these buildings? These structures? Things like that. So, <laughs> just trying to continue the motif throughout there. Adding some more of our birch trees and bushes and stuff. Grabbing these lamps or lanterns or torches or whatever. Extending them throughout here. Yeah, just trying to fill in the space. Looks good, looks good. I am liking it. I know we had some ups and downs in this park. Get it? It's a roller coaster ride. It's a roller coaster joke. But I'm really happy with how it came out. I rather enjoyed it. For this for some reason I feel like putting a little mountain there. And it looked like a little bit of a nibble there for some reason. But nope, there we go. Nice painted. It just felt like making that just a little bit larger of a mountain. Take our hobbit fences, kind of toss them in here just for a little bit more uh, dressing. Set dressing. You know. Just trying to make it look all nice. I really like this nice fence. This is the one thing that I did not build in this game. Or in this park. I actually got this nice fence from the Steam Workshop because it looked really cool. And I thought it fit with the, uh, the elf theme pretty well. But there we go. Looking all right, looking all right. Finally adding the smoke to Mount Mordor. <laughs> or sorry, Mount Doom, not Mount Mordor. Uh, I know some people were really yelling at me. I was doing it out of spite. <laughs> and I think that actually helped that quite a bit right there. Or extending the path so it doesn't look too bad. But that's going to be it for this episode of Planet Coaster, guys. Get ready for the tour in the next one. I'll leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Waiting for the end. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Bye.